Hello everyone, I'm Patrick Tai, Counselor for Division 5, and I'm pleased to provide a recap of the May 25th, 2021 Council meeting. The first order of business was the Mayor's proclamation of June 7th through 13th as Seniors Week in Sturgeon County. Seniors are pillars of the community, and it's important we acknowledge their crucial role and their contributions at home, in the workplace, and throughout Sturgeon County. In recognition of Seniors Week, Council has approved free library memberships to county residents aged 55 and over who would access library memberships during the month of June. On Tuesday, Council has authorized administration to support local school divisions with their school board elections by hosting in conjunction with the 2021 municipal elections, taking place on Monday, October 18th. Sturgeon County is pleased to be able to provide this service to avoid duplication of efforts reduce costs, and provide a more efficient voting process for the community. Council has also provided to support expanding the scope of work on Meadowview Drive. The new approved work includes converting four kilometers of road to a hot mix hard surface and addressing issues of the sub-base layer of existing road. Meadowview Drive is an important route for the people who live in the region as well as the commercial and recreational facilities located in the area while at the end result will be significant improvement. To Meadowview Drive, we also know the road construction can be an inconvenience. Sturgeon County will be engaging with the residents and businesses over the next few weeks to discuss this important construction project. River Gabar and Terrell Estates will also be seeing some road construction this year, as Council approved the road construction contract with e-construction for $2.9 million. More information on this project, along with other road construction projects, can be found at sturgeoncounty.ca slash roads. Council discussed another road issue, which is a growing problem of illegal dumping in our ditches. Dumping waste in county ditches is not only a hazard for the environment, but it costs taxpayers money, as county resources are required to clean up the mess. There have been over 149 cases of illegal dumping in Sturgeon County this year alone that county staff have had to clean up and take to the landfill. We have therefore directed administration to negotiate with Rose Ridge Land Phil, about the possibility of extending their hours throughout the summer to increase accessibility for residents within the region. Administration will also be reaching out to the towns of Bonacord, Gibbons, Legale, Mournville and Redwater to seek their support in helping cover the cost for additional hours of operation. While extending hours will be benefit residents during the busiest time of the year, we hope it will also reduce the amount of illegal dumping in the county. In addition to working with Rose Ridge Landfill to extend operational hours, the county will also be exploring ways to discourage illegal dumping, including increasing enforcement. Council has invested significant dollars in projects and programs to help improve the quality of life in the county. I hope we can all work together to keeping Sturgeon County clean by disposing of waste properly and reporting illegal dumping in our ditches. We have a beautiful county and it's important that we all work together to protect our natural environment. Which is also why on Tuesday, Council has asked for a draft bylaw to create a clean energy improvement program for Sturgeon, which will assist property owners to make energy efficient upgrades to their property through cost recovered through their property taxes. For more information, this will be coming out in the fall. May is Motorcycle Safety Awareness Month. I would like to remind everyone to watch out for motorcycles. Road safety is a shared responsibility between all road users. It's up to all of us, riders and drivers. Those are the highlights for the May 25th Council meeting. More information can be found below. We hope you join us for our next meeting taking place on June 8th. Take care, stay safe, go outside and have some fun. Thank you.